It's crushing every time you see another death. The names may be different, but the headlines and the hurt. I loved him to death. He just had such a big heart, you know, and he's leaving a massive hole in my heart and in our family. Are the same. Like somebody punched me in the gut. News of the death of VCU student Adam Oaks, who was found unresponsive the morning of February 27th at the Delta Chi Fraternity House after his family says he was given a dangerous amount of alcohol before hitting his head, opened wounds 300 miles away for New Jersey couple Jim and Evelyn Piazza. Not only was it alcohol, but it was a head injury and it just hit a little too close to home. It has taken them back to the February 2017 day this family of four was forever changed. They said that he was at the fraternity house and fell down the stairs once, maybe twice. And Jim said, this better not have anything to do with that fraternity. And I said, turns out it was the first night of pledging. And at that point, I knew I knew he was going to die. Like Adam Oaks, 19-year-old Penn State student Tim Piazza was looking to be accepted into a brotherhood. The night he'd be given 18 drinks in less than 90 minutes as part of a hazing ritual at the Beta Theta Pi fraternity house. A Pennsylvania judge handed out the first jail sentences in the hazing death of Penn State sophomore Timothy Piazza. Piazza's death resulted in one of the largest hazing prosecutions in the nation's history, which his parents say is only part of the solution. You know, all the states have to have tougher laws and, you know, we and a couple of other families have been able to get better laws put in place in certain states, but usually it, it, it's, it takes somebody to die in a state or from a state before the state legislators will even listen, which is awful. 15 people have died in Virginia from presumed hazing incidents since 1915. That's according to Hank Neuer, who's been keeping track of them since the 1970s, when the Franklin College professor and author witnessed a pledge in need of rescue. And he was foaming at the mouth. The only time I've ever seen that in my entire life. Newer has dedicated much of his career to studying hazing and says there has been at least one death a year to it on campuses across the country since 1959. Three already under investigation this year. The intensity of something like at VCU, if that's the correct report, uh, uh, kind of flabbergasted me and I've been writing about this, as I said, since 75. I think uh, Maybe we shouldn't have been, but educators at, these, at, at all the schools need to be watching these hazing incidents now because it's been dormant and now it seems to be hitting with a vengeance. According to Stop Hazing, 55% of college students involved in clubs, teams, and organizations experience hazing. It's got to stop. It, it's been multiple in Virginia now. It is about, it is beyond time for them to get a felony hazing law on the books and to actually prosecute hazing to the fullest extent. Virginia is one of 44 states that has an anti-hazing law, but if convicted in the Commonwealth, it's a class one misdemeanor, unlike 10 states that have laws that can make hazing a felony if it results in death or serious injury. I introduced this bill, Senate Bill 1090, on behalf of Timothy J. Piazza. Since losing their son, the Piazzas have led the charge to not only strengthen state and federal laws, but force colleges and universities to be more transparent with reporting hazing incidents through the End All Hazing Act. What would Tim be saying right now as he's watching his parents fight so hard for him? And I think he'd feel really badly that we're here, but I think he'd be he'd proud be really of the proud. fact that we're trying to make a difference because that's the kind of kid he would be, he was, he, he, would, he wanted to make a difference. And to make that difference on college campuses, Newer says students need to have the courage to speak up. Out them. They're on their campus. 
You know they're bad actors. You see how they behave. You're in a sorority. You don't want to go to their house. Uh, report them. Get rid of them. That's uh, what undergraduates can do. Loyalty is a good thing, but not loyalty to criminals. We just, I mean, we don't want this to happen again, you know, to other families. Oaks's death is being investigated by VCU and Richmond police. The university says they are looking into whether his death was related to Delta Chi activity. The fraternity has been suspended and VCU is launching an independent review of Greek life. Meanwhile, Mr. Piazza is calling on Virginia lawmakers to reach out to him. Working for you, Laura French, CBS 6 News.